Hello and welcome to the Secure and Fast demo for Mobile World Congress 2019 Solution Components from Exceedian, Cavern, and Quali. What this solution addresses are challenges around security and compliance, environment as a service for orchestrating and automating your infrastructure, and then visibility challenges into the network and application infrastructures. So we're going to go ahead and log into the Quali Cloud Shell Environment as a Service application. And what this application has are predefined blueprints that we've created ahead of time for environments like AWS and Azure. I'm going to go ahead and select the 5G blueprint. And in this environment, we have the various network components that make up the 5G core network, like the network slice selection function, policy functions, session functions. We also have the, the mobile center controller, as well as the mobile center connector in a remote lab with physical devices. These can actually be reserved at the endpoints. What we're going to add are the cybersecurity component. In this case, it's Cavern for the scoring and benchmarking of the infrastructure. And then we're also going to add the visibility tool from Exceedian Skylight PBX. And what that will allow us to do is get a better understanding of the infrastructure performance as it relates to data, application, and network. If I hover over the Exceedian Skylight, you'll notice that it gives me a deployment path, once I've selected it, as Azure East with disk size, port access, IP address, and the image itself. I can go ahead and then reserve this blueprint, and it gives me options for automation of configurations, or in this case, if I want weeks, days, and hours, uh, whatever I want to set it to. I'll just leave it at the default. And for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and look into a deployed sandbox with those components. So for example, now this, this particular node, which was the network slice selection node, if I go ahead and hover over and select that toggle, it's going to show me some attributes regarding the IP address and how I can uh, do additional activities on it. If I go ahead and look in Azure, and I look at the Exceedian Skylight, or in this case it was the uh, NSSF node, the network slice selection you'll see that from a networking standpoint, I can see the public IP address and then other details regarding that node. So it's active in the sandbox. At the same time, I can, if there are applications associated with these nodes, I can toggle into them from both the URL and see what the application, if I want to actually engage in some commands. Um, or also, I can go into the SSH. I can go command line directly from the the uh, deployed sandbox and I can look at what is uh, available to me. I can even go in as root and then look at uh, what what is there. So once this is in place I can now actually start to introduce the scoring from a cyber security posture intelligence. I can do scanning of those environments and then I can look at what my cyber security score is. For example here in my policy packs I've selected uh, the Azure Cloud packs, but I could very easily have selected different ones like PCI, NIST, for example. I can uh, select NIST and then look at uh, whichever identity management or data security components I wanted to include. So this gives me an opportunity to uh, identify any of the uh, components within that environment and obtain a score. That, that is key for me to determine what my security posture is. I can download these reports and look at them later, but the policy packs allow me then to get a quick idea of, wait a minute, I've got something red over here. What could that be? So that gives me an idea of where I need to start to look at and drill down to into that uh, environment. From a performance standpoint, I can start to look at the Exceedian product and look at the configuration of my nodes that I want to manage. I got eight active nodes. In this case, I did the network core. And I can introduce traffic into this environment. And I'm going to use Blaze Meter. I've already got a predefined test, which I can start to run. And what that essentially does is allows me to introduce some traffic into that environment. And then it will start to 
uh, be measured for the performance. Once the test is completed, you can see my uh, summary here of how much load and then the, res the associated response time to see if it was actually responsive enough between uh, the time allotted. Now what I really need to do is to come into the Exceedian and see what the actual impact was on my applications. It's one thing for the load to be instantiated into this environment, but I want to get a better sense of what was actually going on within the environment itself. So I'm going to go ahead and set my parameters and do a search. And in this case, you'll see that I've got the traffic thresholds and I've got the end user response time of five milliseconds from the application itself and the network and the data, data transmit time, response time for the server and round trip time for the network. If I drill down further into this dashboard, I can start to look at some of the granular details regarding what I'm actually uh, have to pinpoint if something was delayed. Uh, so if I drill down into the client zones, I can actually show you now uh, the amount of traffic, uh, the transactions, and then my end user response time was hovering around 49 milliseconds. And then I can look at the sum of the, the various components regarding round trip time from the network. So it looks like uh, the server response time was res acting pretty good in uh, the microseconds. And then we got some millisecond uh, uh, data transfer times here. So that gives me a good indication of uh, my network and my cyber posture, which then allows me to get a better understanding of how my overall environment is going to perform. And so the, you can take those two scores from Exceedian as well as uh, Cavern, and then you can aggregate them into a posture for your business as well as where you stand from a, a risk standpoint. Once completed, you can actually terminate this environment by hitting end to deallocate all of these components within Azure. So with that, I want to thank you for your time and attention and share with you the benefits of secure and fast 5G digital transformation. It can really simplify how you deploy these applications, automate some of the configurations, ensure that your security posture is in place with your regulation and your uh, requirements, and then it's efficient. It meets your SLAs as far as agreements. For more information, please visit the websites below for Secure and Fast. Thank you.